I made a very simple command here which will show you how to detect what coordinate the player is at. Really great and it can uh, detect specific things like y-axis uh, in this example here. It is literally one command. So this one is going to give me a message when I pass y equals 30. So this is y equals 40 and y equals 30. Bam, it says you are at y equals 30. If I go below here, you'll see that message will disappear. But if I go back up, bam, you are at y equals 30, uh, which is great. Now, this also works for the x axis here. But first, I'll just show you real quick how it works. So, you put in the coordinates that you want, and if you want a uh, non-specific coordinate, like y-axis in general, then you make the coordinates that you don't really care about just tilters like that. But I do care about y equals 30, so that's why the y-axis here is 30, and I want it exactly on that axis, so I've got r equals 1 here, and then I have a title command which just says, you are at y equals 30, however you can make this command whatever the heck you want. Now, let's make this you are near y equals 20. So I'm going to change this number here to 20 and I'm going to make this within five blocks. So if I'm within five blocks of y equals 20, which is that part there, then it will say you are near y equals 20 because I'm, I'm pretty close to it. So if I just go over here, let that message disappear and get a little bit close to it, then it says you are near y equals 20, which is also pretty dang useful. Let's have some fun here. I've made it so it will detect you if you are below y equals 30, which is that red strip there. So as soon as I go past it, bam, the message appears. And if I go down here, you won't see it disappearing because I am still below y equals 30. The way this works is I have executed from coordinate zero, and then I'm saying if you're within 30 blocks of coordinate zero, then you must be below y equals 30, and hence it runs this command. We can also do this for other axes, like the x axes here. So I've got a wall here. Uh, this is x equals 150 here. So I'm going to say that uh, if you are past x equals 150, it will come up with this message, you're past x equals 150. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in this number, um, y coordinate doesn't matter anymore, but I'm going to put in 300 here, and I'm going to say, uh, if you're within 150 blocks of coordinate 300, then you must be past 150. So when we go past here, as you can see, this now works. Oh, okay, so what if you're past 450? Well, then the message will disappear. Uh, you can make the numbers huge if, you, if you're worried about this. So uh, 500 subtract 350 is still going to be 150. So this should still work. And it does. So if you're worried about the player going really, really far out, then you just got to make this number absolutely huge here. Let's just add 1,000 onto both of them. So it's like x equals 1,500. So if you go past here, it's still going to work. So the bigger the number, uh, the further out you can go before it bugs out. Um, so it's pretty useful stuff. I've used it for custom mobs, and I even used it for a cave-ins module where cave-ins could only happen if you are below y equals 40. One last thing I want to show you. What if you are above y equals 100? Well, that's pretty darn easy. Let's just say, uh, let's just execute from uh, 300, and if you're within 200 blocks of y coordinate 300, then we can say that you're above y equals 100. So let's see, I'm currently at 80, 90, and then as soon as I reach 100, this message will come up. Uh, but if I go all the way up to layer 700, I think it is, it will go away. And again, if you're worried about that, then you can just make this number bigger and this radius bigger, and the problem will be solved like that. But anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this quick video. Uh, the commands will be in the description below and you can check those out. But for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one.